We got new pets yesterday, um, 12 of them. Um, so there's the mom, the dad, and the 10 children. And we haven't named them yet, but Ireland's gonna name them uh, later. But before we actually um, name them, can you suggest some names that you wanna let us use for the yubbies? So there's the mom, the dad, and 10 children. And 10 children, probably yeah. many children. So shows. please give us 12 names in total. And then um, we'll probably we'll do random dips yeah, and random. see if we can find the one that we want. Yeah, the one that is just random, okay? Yeah. So we we hope that you can help us to um, come up with some names. And um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're very excited. Very so cool. we just transferred them into this little fish tank that we had laying around. We hope that they like it. We hope they like it. We're not very good at yummy care yet, but we will become better. We've been watching some YouTube Sun videos. Sunbathing one? Yeah, there's one that's sunbathing right here. Where is it? I see it. It should be somewhere there somewhere. I see. I can't really see If you guys can there. see, tell us if you can see. Or is it just a bag? Well, they're like camouflage, so they kind of change colors. They're so um, good and pink. And so yeah. So, so if they're hiding and the background's pink, they like become pink. So it's really hard to see. Um, so he's here somewhere. But it's hard to see because they're, they're quite shy, they like to hide and um, and they change their colours according to their background so yeah, not that easy to spot them <laughs> Can you see them? They're like lying there <laughs> One's climbing this snail And they're basically anything you give them Yeah, they're kind of easy to care for, they just eat anything and um, when we googled it, some people said, oh, you have to like use the water um, aerator, like, you know, like the pump, water pump. Um, so we were going to put in the filter and the pump and everything. But then the breeder, like this other guy who's the breeder, he said, oh, no, you don't have to do anything. You just, you know, they can come up for air. So as long as there's not too much water, he says. And you can give them some climbing stuff and they can come up for air, they'll be fine. And apparently they breed very quickly, so <laughs> hopefully Yeah, hopefully we'll have lots of babies and if anybody wants some of the babies, you can just let us know and if you're in Sydney, um yeah, we'll give you some. So please help us with things. One dad, one mum. And we don't know if they're boys and girls yet. Uh, we will let you know shortly with Google and research how to tell and it's got something to do with the legs so we gotta you know let them settle into their new home and then we'll check out the legs to see if they're boys or oh girls oh my goodness there's one here and he's just turned pink it's really hard to see um, he's on this rock but they camouflage so well that you can't really 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 see but he's on this rock back here but um, yeah, completely camouflage, so they turn different colors according to the background that they're on. Can you see it? It's just like kind of here. It's not very um, clear, Alan. Too much noise around them, or they'll get frightened. Because they've got very good sense of hearing, is that so? I think I do. <laughs> I do this to the black person, they would go scatter. Oh, oh yeah, that's him. You can see him a lot better from here, so he's on this rock. So the color of the background. So the very the, the rocks stony like rock. Pink, pinkish. They're and like, the tiny like pinkish. Pink. Yeah. One, one actually looks like, like a like shrimp. Black, then it's like black. They kind of look like shrimp. So. A few minutes ago, one actually looked like a, like a cooked shrimp. We actually rescued these ones. That's why well, then we rescued them because this guy had bought it to go fishing with and to use them as live bait and it was so cool. And then he didn't... Uh, use these and his wife was thinking maybe she'll put it in the river and then she posted it on Facebook and then we went and rescued it all the way to Balkan Hills. <laughs> so yeah, tune in and give us some names please. Bye! What's up guys? Today you've been wondering what this is. What is that? You'll be thinking it's a shrimp, right? But it's not. It's called a yabby. And these yabbies climb they're really good climbers. One of them climb all the way to that very, very top. And one actually climbed in that little snail. 
And I, what I just did and got as a little net and a little bottle, like a little climb equipment for Yabby. Oh, look at that little Yabby. You wanna say hello? <laughs> and this is the Yabby's food. Well, if you're wondering what the Yabby's eat, well, they pretty much eat almost anything. Not plastic, just something. So this is little half, like the top of strawberry and uh, later, just before that, we just put like some rice and you can put some apples in and actually you can put human food. And yeah, if you want to stay tuned to see more Yabbies and rename the Yabbies, stay tuned for the next video. Bye!